if somebody stands out to me, if they present themselves well, they're well spoken, you can tell that they care about how they present themselves, how their vehicle is, because I'll look inside their vehicle and they, Ooh, oh, oh, this is a Lincoln. Okay, mine's an Escalade, mine's a Cadillac. And when people impress me, I'll give them my business card and then take them in under my wing. Right now, uh, what is your vehicle? And um, yeah. tell people about kind of what your business model is like as far as. Yeah. So, you you know, you kind of have to decide on on where you want to take this. You know, do you want to be just, you know, a single operator, you know, uh, and, and, and drive? And that's, you know, that's fine. Or do you want to be king of all creation and and have a fleet of 50 vehicles and, uh, you know, and drivers? With me, I, I've managed, you know, hundreds of people at a time. And that's not for me. Um, yeah. You know, having employees, you know, once you start bringing on employees, then there's payroll and payroll taxes. And, and when you start dealing with all of these human emotions and how come he can wear that and I can't. And it's just, you know. Yeah. And so from the beginning, well, I'm not, I'm no spring chicken. I'm 58 now. And so I want to retire in, you know, 65 or something. And so my intent here was to grow this business to a point where then I could just kind of take a back seat, manage it, yes. or maybe not pay somebody to manage it, um, but be involved and supplement, you know, our retirement, you know, because, um, you know, I've got a good accountant. That's another thing. Get yourself an accountant. Don't guess, yeah. um, you know, and so to be able to supplement our, our retirement and for that, you know, we'll be, um, you know, according to all of my charts and graphs, we'll be, we'll be doing, you know, we'll be doing good, but it's, you know, it's getting there. So I started, um, so my intent was to be able to, um, um, start small. Um, if I, if I brought on more vehicles and maybe one or two drivers, it would be not more than three, yeah. you know, but, um, but what I decided though is, you know, so I went out, I got a great deal. This was just post pandemic. Cause I did it. Uh, I bought it in November of 2021. And I just, when, when I couldn't get, um, Mercedes, you know, chassis, um, the local Cadillac dealership had a black on black Cadillac ESV, the extended one that'll fit everything in there just about within reason. And it did, it, it was a seven seater. And so the second row didn't have the two captain seats. It's a bench seat. So I can feed, uh, seat seven people. Oh, wow. Okay. And so that was kind of my, you know, <laughs> the universe saying here, you know, and, it, and I got to tell you, it was, it was 2019 certified pre-owned. It was a great price. And back then I think I financed it for like 3%, you know, and this was before. Yeah. Yeah, and so it was like free money, you know? And so, yeah. <laughs> and so that just kind of fell in my lap. Now, since then I put 35,000 miles on it a year. And so that's not, <laughs> you know, I can't keep doing that. And so, you know, what to do? Do I go out and buy another vehicle? Well, why, why, why spend that capitalized cost to try and recoup it? I'm only one person. I can only drive one at a time. And so right now I've got five people working for me. Um, wow. And, um, and, I, and I farm it out. And so I've got, you know, so I've got the it's 2019 Cadillac Escalade. I love it. Um, I'm never buying a small car again. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, cause that thing, man, and it's got the road for, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, but you know, so, on the landing page that, that you created for me, you know, right. I, at first I was like, well, no, I just want the Escalade. And you canceled me against it. You're like, well, hold on, man. You're selling yourself short. And so, you know, so now there's Escalades. And, and so I've got now five people that are their own independents. And, um, and, you know, one of my talents, I guess, is finding talent, right? That's a huge talent. That's <laughs> totally. one of the best talents, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And so in my previous life, I, I used to do a ton of interviewing for, you know, especially when I worked at Costco and then even with them in my, uh, in my software days, I, you know, I could get to a point now where I'm so good at it. When somebody even walks towards me for the interview, I can tell whether or not I'm going to hire them just by the way, they, just by the way they, 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 they approach me. Yeah. And so, you know, a lot of times when, when you're, um, when you're driving, um, like I'll have people that I take out to dinner and, you know, so it's an anniversary or a wedding, four or five people. And they'll want to go to a nice restaurant out in like, you know, in Orlando and there's a ton of them. And so, you know, they'll come from Aaron Island or Cocoa. We'll drive out there. It's an hour. And then I've got about two, two and a half hours to kill while they have dinner. And so guess where all the drivers are? Well, we're at 7-Eleven drinking coffee, you know, mm -hmm. or Wawa or whatever name your, name your coffee place, Starbucks. And so that's, you know, especially on a Friday and Saturday night, that's where all the drivers are hanging out. So you chit chat with them. And if they're, you know, if somebody stands out to me, 
Um, you know, if they if they present themselves well, they're well they're well spoken. You can tell that they they care about how they present themselves, um, uh, how their vehicle is. Because I'll look inside their vehicle and they, Ooh, oh oh this is a Lincoln. Okay, mine's an Escalade. You know, mine's a Cadillac. And, and when people impress me, I'll give them my business card and, and kind of take them in under my wing. Yeah, because it's surprising how many people are on the, the I call it the dark side <laughs> um, with Uber, Uber, wow, 